All right, well, uh, there's the Ford 9-inch rear end that's been narrowed. It's got 5 by 4 and a half, uh stud pattern. I got some studs, some Moroso studs, but the, they don't quite fit. This needs uh, .600 shank, whereas the ones I got are .590, so they fit. Those are laser-cut brackets for GM metric. Hi, hi. For GM metric, um... Disc brake calipers, which being a forward bolt pattern on the studs, I'm not sure what I'll what I'll do with it because finding a rotor is going to be kind of hard to work with it. But uh, I'll figure something out. But anyways, this is 36 and a half inches flange, the flange, and then I get a get a center chunk. I don't need a crazy ratio, so I'll probably get one for like maybe 150, 200 bucks, and put it in one of those. I'm gonna build. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Metropolitan Nash, the V8. I'm going to do the same concept. I'm going to get some frame rails and build a frame out of rectangular tubing. And this being a Ford Papa. wheel pattern. Hi, hey, hi. Hey. Everybody's off to go play with the neighbors. But uh, being a Ford wheel pattern for the studs, I'm going to use Mustang 2 front suspension or a version of it. Hi, hey, hi. Hey. And... Uh, make like a tiny little go-kart more or less with a v8 and a parallel link four link suspension with the pan hard bar and then uh then i could drop the little subaru body on it because the subaru is pretty far gone uh between the two of them i may be able to make one running car but they do have titles and vin numbers so i i can make a you know halfway kind of weird looking drag car just using scrap parts and odds and ends and you know hopefully i don't have too much into it because it'll just be like a, an oddball project not something i could really drive for very long or very far although i'm putting like a 273 or, or a 270 or a 3 or 327 gear ratio in it so i mean theoretically i could drive it far it'll just be loud because it won't have mufflers and it'll just be annoying so but yeah, that's the uh, update on that little Subaru. I got a rear end for it for 225 bucks with some caliper brackets. I was kind of wishing there were Ford caliper brackets because then I could just use Explorer brakes, which I still might. I might just convert this to uh, the Ford Explorer brakes because up in Portland, Oregon, you can get them at junkyards for like 40, 50 bucks. So, and they bolt right into the Ford 9s. Just like the GM, brakes are being, a, you know, you could use them through the years. All the way down to, I got a 65 Chevelle rear end in my Firebird with 98 Camaro brakes with a little spacer. You could do a similar thing with Ford Explorer brakes and bolt them onto a Ford 9-inch. Um, the companies, whether it be Ford or GM, kind of stayed with the same, you know, mounting pattern. So, sure work out pretty good. Uh, all I need now is some frame rails. Frame rail kits, like with the entire getup are a little on the expensive side. I don't feel like dropping 1100 bucks. But a $200 four-link kit and a couple hundred bucks for some frame rail tubing that's pretty bent to my specs from some companies that I'm going to look up shouldn't be too bad. You know, maybe 400 bucks in the frame total. Because the frame is going to be really short. Short frame, box frame, nothing crazy. I mean, I mean obviously I have cross braces, but I don't need anything too wild and then later i'm going to see if i can get one of the local welders here i mean i weld but you know a different story one of the local actual welders here uh fabricate me a roll bar at the minimum for this car because it's a tiny little car v8 i'm gonna need wheelie bars the length of the car at least you know just to keep it from doing anything crazy well y'all take care and i'll keep you updated as soon as i get more stuff